Okay, here's a quick video how to set up a motorised satellite system. Uh, first of all, you, what you want to do is um, check your elevation on the uh, motor settings and it kind of roughly gets your motor uh, to where it should be. So here I am, it's about 37, you can't really see on the camera. Um, 37 degrees. Um, also what you want to do then is set a rough angle on your dish as well. It should also be in the settings, you can't see that at all there, but it's, it is on there. Uh, very very important uh, also as well you need to make sure that the motor is exactly in line with the back of the dish as well so on this pole here uh, that's going to be you can see the line coming down the back of it that needs to be exactly sort of halfway between the bracket there you don't want it twisting to any side like that at all because it will it will throw the results out um, and also as well you've got the pole here you just want to make sure that the ideally the lengths are kind of when you've roughly tightened them uh, make sure they're all in the same kind of uh, length because otherwise it can sort of skew it that way as well um, so there we go we've got the telly here um, it's in black and white because the scout lead is knackered uh, but it basically sets up the uh, middle satellite which for me is Thor uh, 3 5 and 6 which is 0 0.8 west um, so what you want to do set it up on that get a strong signal as you can see here BBC World News is quite strong key in those details and uh, just try and move everything around until you do get a signal uh, what you want to do is as you're setting it up um, if you need to adjust anything gently do each bit by bit so what I normally do is roughly get the angle on the dish here and the motor that's kind of where it should be uh, loosen off these ones a little bit the, the nuts here on the uh, the back of the bracket and what you want to do is gently rotate either east or west until the signal comes a little bit stronger so uh, as it happens this is kind of set up anyway um, but the, as you can see the signal's just kicking in about 73, 74 which is my strongest signal here uh, so you want to go to that also once that's in it's all tuned up as best as the signal you can get you want to go to extreme satellites east and west so if I just spin around to 30 degrees west I'm just going to go to the one of the strong, strong channels there get the signal back up See the motors moving there. There you go, the signal's coming through on that satellite there as well. Uh, once again, what you want to do is write down your readings because uh, as you're adjusting, if you need to move anything, you can move the dish up and down a little bit, see if it goes any stronger or worse. And then you want to spin right around to the other satellite, which will go to. Intel Sat 12, quite a strong signal. Magic TV, one of the uh, strong transponders there. Once again, get your signal up. Dish moves back to the other side of the arc there. Try not to fall off my ladders. Uh, but basically, if you do need to make any adjustments, once you've got your east and west, um, there's the elevation on that one. You might need to nudge it a little bit up or down. And also on the dish bracket itself as well. Uh, but if you refer to the, the diagram, uh, which I'll send a link to on the YouTube video, um, it'll tell you which way you need to move, if you need to move those at all, or maybe a little bit east and west on there. But uh, a couple of important things as I say, you just want to make sure that's completely, completely centre on the bracket there. If it's anywhere out, it will throw the whole thing out. And you want to make sure that uh, everything's loose enough to move, but not going to slip down the pole. So just wait for the uh, satellite to come through. On 45 degrees east, which hopefully it will move. There you go, and we've got the signal on there. It's coming in about 72%, which I know we can get a better signal on that, so I do need to adjust it at some point. And so if I move up there again, it's kicking in 75, 70%. So I know that I need to adjust that a little bit. Okay, hope that's helped.